Christos Anesti. The tradition of our church tells us that we should celebrate and to proclaim the resurrected Lord for 40 days after Pascha. And I wanted to, on this bright week, to share with you the message of the light of Christ. And that light that we all light together in church is the light that must be constantly in your hearts and in your minds as the light that Jesus is within you and that you are proclaiming his glorious resurrection to the world. The most important thing that we Orthodox Christians have to do is to go forth and share this light with all the world, to share it and allow people to see how it glows and how it allow, allows us to be radiant and, and, and full of love in Christ Jesus. So today, I wanted to, on this bright week, to share with you how important it is for you to remember this light. I know that you didn't have a chance to light one this year. I know that all of you have shared so many beautiful pictures with me in your homes, and that your moms and dads allowed you to light a candle in the house and to celebrate Pascha 2020 in your own home this year. We really are excited about having you come back and for you and for the rest of our community together as brothers and sisters in our Lord Jesus Christ to come and light this light of Christ again together as one family, as one community in the church. So with this in mind, I just wanted this first lesson in, in the spirit that we have been doing during Holy Week to be a continuing lesson for all of us that this light of Jesus Christ is the light that we share to the world. And we always, we always share this message, Christos Anesti, Christ is risen. And our response should be Alithos Anesti, truly he is risen. That's the message of this period of time with brothers and sisters who are in the faith and worship and believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord God and Savior. The light of Christ is what each of us are responsible to share. And that's why we say Christos Anesti. And we respond by saying Alithos Anesti if somebody greeted us first. So I hope that all of you will continue this spirit in your home with your moms and dads. Every morning you wake up, Christos Anesti. Every evening before you go to bed, Christos Anesti. And allow the Spirit of Jesus to be in your house all day long. And don't forget the meals that we must make sure that we always begin with Christos Anesti before we finish and begin our meals. So I hope all of you have a blessed and beautiful day. And, and again, Christos Anesti to you all.